Jeff said he's got a problem. His battery is, his crank battery is shot. So, time for the Gulu to step in. See, great advertisement for them, huh? <laughs> I'm kind of expecting that damn battery to go out. We'll get her. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I forget that plug plate. It has a battery. Last plate. You're, you're really dead, though. You want to let it run for a bit before we go? Gulu to the rescue. Can you stop barking, buddy? hunters going out this morning and their dogs they all showed up about an hour ago they started pulling in and they're all loaded up I wanted to get us out into the flatlands well you can see here that we got out into the flatlands this was such relaxing driving you know not going super fast not on the interstates really comforting so we're headed 85 south uh, down towards Cheyenne 
Uh, and then we're going to pick up down here and find us a truck stop and a Walmart to get some food. So we're going to be coming into Cheyenne, Wyoming here, and we've got we got two things that we want to do. We want to find a Walmart so that we can stock up on some food and we want to find uh, a truck stop so that we can get a shower. So taking showers in truck stops has become a pretty normal thing when, when we're on the road. Um, I've gotten pretty good at it, you know, packing up my gear bag, my backpack, and taking all my stuff inside, but it doesn't go as smooth as I would have liked on this particular visit, and you'll see why coming up here. So a quick stop into Walmart um, to stock up, and then we actually decided to jump down here. We looked at where the truck stops were, and we decided to jump on the interstate. I think this is 25, and just for a handful of miles down to uh, an exit where there were truck stops. There was both uh, Love's and Flying J. We pulled over to the Loves first, and it was a small one, really crowded. Couldn't really even find anywhere to park comfortably. So we jumped on the other side of the interstate over to the Flying J, which we ended up uh, going to the Flying J. There was more room. Yeah, this is Interstate 25 that we got on here just for a little bit. Okay, we're at a Flying J. It's a kind of a small shower, as long as this is good size. You know, it looks okay, clean. Floor mat, another floor mat. <laughs> All right, let's get cleaned up. Okay, I need it. I need a, a spruce up. Look, I'm a little shabby. Carry in all my gear, new clothes, towel, washcloth, shampoo, razor, shaving lather, deodorant. I forgot my soap. Shit. Oh, do they have soap? They do. Ugh. I need my dove. Oh, that feels better. All clean. Fresh clothes. It's noon. We've only driven like 70 miles today so far. <laughs> I don't know, that seems, I mean, we got on the road like 8.30 and we busted ass into town, Walmart, then we drove over to here, shower. So, you know, the time just wiles away. And I cooked bacon and eggs in the parking lot at Walmart because I was hungry. And I had to use the last of the eggs and the last of that bacon so that I could fit new eggs and new bacon in the fridge. So I ate them up in the parking lot. That was good. So Jeff just went in to get something to eat. And I'm gonna, we're going to talk about how far we think we want to go. Try to pick some kind of target, you know. So we're heading down into Colorado. Don't want to go through Denver. So we're going to try to skirt around the eastern side of Denver um, so that we don't get all the traffic. And there's still gonna be some, but I wanna stay outside of that. So we'll get on back on the road here soon. So right now I just have us going 85 south to Greeley. Okay. It's like an hour, you then know? We'll, we'll go from there. And then we'll check in there. Yep. Okay. We'll find a place. Yeah. Anyway, but... okay. All right. 85 to Greeley. 85 to Greeley. Yeah.
I just, I'm pulled up. Yeah, I'm pulled over on the side of the road. You'll see me. There's a parking spot right behind me. You can pull in right behind me. Yeah, 85 right in Greeley. Yep. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Yep. Hi everyone, it's giveaway time. We've got the Gulu 300 watt power station, GTX 300. I've got the URL, and then we're gonna filter for Gulu. All right, and let's see how many entries we got. Here we go. I like it better when my daughter does these for us. She adds a certain flair, you know, with those big long fingernails clacking on the keyboard like she does. Let's see if I can emulate that sound. 636. And then here we go. Fly Girl Karen. Would love to win the Gulu. Keep sharing. You are very inspiring. Thank you, Karen. Uh, so Fly Girl Karen, you are the winner of the Gulu Power Station. Get in touch with me within 72 hours. I'll get your info and I'll get this thing shipped right out to you. So thank you all for being here on the channel, for the giveaways, for watching the videos. Lefty and I both really enjoy doing this. Let's get back to the video. have found a place for the evening we are we're in Colorado this is a uh, Centennial Valley State Wildlife Area so this is just a parking area similar to where we were last night actually in that other one so there's some signage over there for the hunters just like last night the, the place we were at. Um, so a, kind of a tough driving day. We we went and um, did the shower, 
it's just you know we didn't travel a lot of miles today but um, because of the route we're taking we did not have a lot of choices for where we could spend the night you know we could have gotten back on the interstate and probably found a rest stop or a truck stop and but I didn't want to go on the interstate because that's going to take us right into Denver so we made it to this town Geely and pulled over at their town park which was closed up because they're reseeding it unfortunately but we regrouped there and I looked on the map and I found this place which was just like 20 miles away from there and so I said let's just you know we decided to come over here for the night and just you know call it a day and then tomorrow I've got a target for us I think it's a good target to Salida Colorado which is 200 miles from here 238 miles that's a good day's drive for us but doable you know we couldn't have made that today um, it would have put us too late in the day so we just pulled over in here it's about 3 30 I think something like that so it's early but uh, yeah 3 30 but got lefties mad out there for him we got a little bit of shade here that we're gonna lose once the the Sun gets out around these trees but I've got us parked I put the reflectix in the back windows um, so I've got the ceiling fan on the window open it's not real hot out but you know in the Sun it's warm but it's okay inside the rig with the air moving through it and you know the the Sun will start to go down here pretty soon so we'll be all right so we're gonna call it a day I think I'm I got a craving for pizzas I think I'm gonna make a pizza I found a Bobolí crust so it's party time Bobolí frying pan pizzas let's do it I'm gonna eat I'm hungry okay 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 I know